everybody. Soundwave here. <coughs> Sorry, for some reason I've been having some coffee fits. Anyway, so. Uh, I know I'm late to the party. But. I've seen a few people, you know, react to uh, the two new Decepticons that are going to be in the Bumblebee movie. Shatter, the one on the left, you know, she's the one who, uh, has, who, who's red, obviously. And Dropkick, who's the other one. <laughs> Alright, now, you may have heard me call the Shatter a she. Because it was confirmed, Shatter is a girl. A uh, dropkick is a guy. <laughs> yeah, just plainly obvious there. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Honestly, I like the way these two look. Um, now, some people think that these two can, are triple changers. Or duo cons. Because if you look on Shatter here, you can see these um, jet intakes. Or whatever the heck these are. And what appear to be wings. And right in her abdomen area, you can see a landing gear. Knee pads? Those are jet exhausts. And drop kick right on his torso. Right on his torso, there's a helicopter, helicopter, <laughs> helicopter cockpit. And right on his back, mm, kind of looks like he has helicopter blades on his back. Mm. From everything else I can tell, he doesn't actually look too much like he turns into a helicopter other than that. So yeah, um, back to article. Da, 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 da. This is that red, 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 red. <laughs> I don't know why I went to a country accent all of a sudden. All right, all right. These two are main villains, apparently. Third Decepticon, but we'll get to that in a minute. I like how he actually how he actually says that. Um. So Shatter is uh, uh voiced by Angela Bassett. For those who care about the, the intricate de details of the Transformers universe, that character, is a car model, is a Plymouth Satellite. Now, Plymouth Satellites, you can't really find them very easily anymore. But anyway. The blue would uh, bring up... Uh, the, what the flip? <laughs> the blue one bringing up the rear is the amazingly named Dropkick, who will be voiced by the Leftover Star, Justin Throgs. His vehicle model is an AMC Javelin. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, let's see this. Ew. <laughs> says, uh, that... Uh, says uh, that while well, most of the Decepticons from the 1980s animated series... <laughs> Had the ability to fly? <laughs> Sorry. Ah, one sec. The Bumblebee movie is keeping things grounded. For the most part, these two villains will stay on the ground. For the most part. Okay, that definitely hints that they turn into air vehicles. Because it does say for the most part. It does not say that these two will remain on the ground. Yes, some people might say, Oh, that just means they have the ability to fly, they just don't use it. Well, those extra vehicle parts are all are both air vehicles. Anyway, 
But that third Decepticon I mentioned earlier will be Airborne. We're not sure yet who who will be voicing that third mysterious character we've seen uh, pop up at the end of the trailer. So yeah, it was confirmed that this Decepticon is Starscream. However, almost immediately, it was deconfirmed. As on the official post, it said uh, something like, In the shadows waits a threat and a dreaded Decepticon. Well, then it was changed to the dreaded Decepticon, Starscream. And then it was changed back to a dreaded Decepticon. Uh, if you want more detail on that, you can simply go to Fire Brothers, uh, to the Fire Brothers video, where he explained it. But, yeah, I'm, I'm 90% sure that is still Starscream. They just released the information at the wrong time. Okay. Alright, this mean looking uh, thing morphed from a morphed? Morphed. He. At least they didn't say evolved. Then I would have said he's not a digi. He's not a Digimon. Anyway, from uh, the fighter jet. F or from the form of a fighter jet. So maybe it's Slipstream? A character who uh, at least uh, some part. Who. Uh, who, a character who at least in parts of the Transformers complex lore was a female uh, clone of Starscream, a villain who has uh, shown up in previous. Okay, okay, they were talking about Starscream there. Live action Transformers movies, but don't worry, there will only be three. <sighs> Alright, you know what, let's just skip to these. Alright, Ew, <laughs> I still love that name, Ew. <laughs> Says that these villains are Decepticon trackers, who hunt, for the, who hunt for Bumblebee in 1987. The big yellow hero is actually not that big, um, considering his vehicle mode is a Volkswagen Beetle. Um, he's kind of, you know, uh, he, he's pretty much uh, just twice the size of a human. Seriously, he's like twice the size of Charlie. Seriously, I, I'm not kidding. I kind of wish I was. Anyway, uh... The big yellow hero, <laughs> why, is trying to recover when he meets up with Charlie, a team mechanic played by Haley Seinfeld. Okay. Bumblebee hits theaters on December 22nd, 2018, and we can expect more blah 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 Wow, saying blah blah blah, my tongue stopped working. Okay. Well, guys, um, that is me reacting to, uh, to uh, the images, the image of Shatter and Dropkick. <coughs> now, the th some people state that, that these two are duo cons. Yes, I personally believe they're triple changers. That's just me. You don't have to agree with me, but um, that's really all I have to say. Uh, unless I can. <laughs> But I can only assume is a foot race to determine the... <laughs> Okay, I, I like this, so I'm going to read it. I like this little part, so I like to read it, so I'm reading it. As part of Entertainment Weekly's uh, summer movie coverage, the magazine has released uh, a new still form... Uh, or a new still from the Bumblebee, from Bumblebee, that shows off two Decepticon villains that I can 
in what I can only assume is a foot race to determine which one of them has to buy uh, the next to has to buy the next round uh, at the bar later that evening. <laughs> um. Okay. If if it if, if it is that, I know it's not, but I if it is, I'm rooting for Shatter. You know, she looks more like she's jogging, and Dropkick looks like he's actually running. Not to mention, Shatter just looks cool. Now, so if any of you guys have seen the Fire Brothers episodes where he said Diablo was confirmed. Technically, she isn't. Um, but she was confirmed to be in the comics. And he believes, and actually I share the same belief, that Diablo could actually be Shatter. That Shatter is a placeholder name. Or that Diablo gets damaged in the comic and becomes Shatter. I would love that. That would be awesome. Considering I actually haven't seen any of Diablo. Except for in the Fire Brothers videos. So, yeah guys. Uh, this is the Soundwave Prime. And I will catch you all next time. Goodbye. Wait, b before I leave. Do you guys, uh, are you guys subscribed? Do you have that bell, not that bell thing on? Because uh, if you would do it, then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Um... I'm not gonna do a, uh, you know, I'm not gonna do any giveaways, because I have literally nothing to give away, unless someone wants any Legos, and I'm actually not willing to give those up. So yeah, um, I might do a comm test. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a comm test, just not in this video. Actually, yeah, contest. Contest, comment contest. Yes, I know I stole that from How Ridiculous. I don't care. I'm I'm part of the 44 Club, okay? O okay. Anyway, um, so, contest. Which one do you think I like better? Shatter or Dropkick? Alright. Um, the closest com- Or- First comment to get it right, I'll- I'm gonna just, I'm gonna steal this from How Ridiculous. <clears throat> Will Pinya! So, rip headbone users. Anyway, uh, yeah. First one to get it close, to get it right, wins. I'll pin your comments. Might even subscribe to your channel. Alright. Well, this is Soundwave Prime. Transforming. No, I okay. I need to work on my outros. Let me know in the comments, uh, what what outro I should do. Anyway, guys, so this video is getting long, so I'm gonna leave y'all. Uh, I'm gonna leave y'all be. Goodbye.